सो हेलो गाइस एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल सर टुडे अगेन आई एम बैक विथ अनदर इंपॉर्टेंट न्यू मेडिकल सर ऑन ऑन पावर प्लांट डिजाइन सर एंड हियर यू कैन सी अ सिंगल लाइन डायग्राम गिवन हियर एंड हियर गिवन से जनरेटर एज 7 एमबीए 11 किलो वोल्ट एंड एक्स एस 24 परसेंटेज एंड फॉर ट्रांसफार्मर 8 एमबीए 11/33 किलो वोल्ट एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स इज 8 परसेंटेज गिवन सिमिलरली द ट्रांसमिशन लाइन एक्स इज इक्वल टू 5.485 ओम and calculate IF means fault EMB at medium and high voltage bus and IF at fault EMB breaking and making capacity of circuit breaker for fault at position 1 and 2. So here let's start the solution sir. So the first will consider the fault at 11 kV means the fault at this point. So if you consider the fault at this point. Our reactance diagrams will look like this. So this is for here you can see this one reactance will be for this is for circuit breakers and again one transformer is placed here. Similarly, again second generator is placed here and other transformer is placed here. So this is for generator G1, generator G2, and this is for Transmit uh, means transfer one, transformer two, and this is for our transmission line, transmission line one and transmission line two. So, in order to calculate these parameters, let assume the base EMBA. So let the base EMBA is 10 EMBA, and base EMBA at a transmission line will assume 33 kilo volt. Similarly, the base volt is at the generator side will be 11 kilo volt. Now, the X G one will be calculated as here. xg1 means this value and here the generator rating is has x value of x is 24 percent so j024 into new into new value upon old value and in new value i have assumed the base mb as 10 mb so 10 upon 7 will it will be so here 0.24 into this is the new mba and this is our old mba so we will get here j0.343 per unit simply for transformer we will get J0.08 into this is the new and the old for transform is given as 8 MBA. So we will get J0.1. Similarly, for line, it will be actual impedance upon base impedance. So actual impedance we have given 5.485 ohm. And for base means for line, it is given as KV square upon MBA. And the kilo volt is given as for line. Here we have assumed the transmission line as 33 kilo volt. So KV square upon MBA upon m b a and this will be k b square k b square upon m b a so 33 upon m b a is 10 so you get here this 0 0.0505 per unit now we can see here means these these two are in series again these we can see these two are in parallel So here, on further simplifications means uh, we can write it as here. One will be placed here. Similarly, other will be placed here. Sir. Since these, these and these are in parallel, so simply this has the same value. So we can write for this parallel. Since it is in parallel, so we can write it as 0 0.0504 upon 2, and now these two are in series and these two series connection will be placed within parallel with this. So here we can write it will be 0 0.0443 and for parallel connection it is, this is 0 0.0504 upon 2. So you get here 0 0.0252 and the, and the fault has occurred here. So here the generator is a, a reactance is given as J0.343 and this is the fault since the fault has occurred here and again here we have given J0.1 here you can see this is J0.1 and now and from this you can see here we have 0 0.0252 and 0 0.0443 and if we connect these two in parallel, since these two are in parallel and the resultant of this will be in series with this.
so and the value of this is j zero point one j zero point one so the resultant of this pair it means these two are in parallel means zero point zero two five two is parallel to zero point zero four four three and plus this zero zero point one so you'll get here j zero point one two four so you'll get j zero point one two four the value of this means the overall value of this this is not so from here to here we can see we'll get the value as 0.124 now the fault has occurred this point so the fault current will be one angle 0 degree one and this will be angle this is for one angle 0 degree upon this value means 0 0.343 upon this value plus since the fault has occurred the between these these two reactants so upon 1 upon this value means 0 0.124 1 upon 0 0.124 so we we'll get here minus 10.98 and in angle form we we'll get a uh, means in form of r angle theta we will get 10.96 angle will be minus 90 so the base current at 11 kilovolt side since this is at 11 kilovolt side so it will be we have assumed the base as 10 mb uh, 10 mb so 10 into 10 power 6 upon root 3 into 11 into 10 power 6 will get here 524.86 amperes and if means actual for actual we have to calculate means this is in right now in per unit so 10.96 into this base current so 524.86 will get here 5762 amperes now how amp here will be root 3 into if actual into 11 kilowatt so if we solve this, we will get the fault EMBA. Now, if the fault has occurred at this point, so for that case, we can see these two will be in series. Again, these two will be in series and the resultant of these two will be in parallel. Similarly, the result it means this and this are in parallel so you can see since these two are have the same value so in parallel corrections if the value is same we can simply uh, the, means since we have the two parameters so we can simply write as 0 0.0504 upon 2 so 0 0.0504 upon 2 and again we can see 0 0.343 plus 0 0.1 and again 0 0.343 plus 0 0.1 these two will give the same value and again these two are in parallel so we can simply write 0 0.443 upon 2 that is going to give 0 0.2215 and the fault current will be 1 upon this value again 1 upon this value so we will get j44.19 per unit since this is in per unit now we need to calculate the base current at 33 kilovolt since this fault has occurred at the side of 33 kilovolt so, so base current at 33 kilovolt will be 10 MBA upon root 3 into 11 means at 30 into 33 kilovolt will get here 124.95 amperes. Now, IF actually will be means this base into this IF. So, we will get 44.19 into 174.95. We will get 7731 ampere. Now, fault MBA will be. So, fault MBA root 3 into IF actual into 33 kilovolt. So root 3 into 33 kilo volt is 33 into 10 power 3 into 7731. So the so fault will be so once we calculate, we will get the fault MBA. And if we divide it by 10 to the power 6, we will get the value in MBA here. So this resultant will be in MBA. So we'll get the value in EM here. Now, fault at the left side of circuit breaker that is at position one. Sir. So if the fault has occurred at left side of circuit breaker, so for that case, here you can see.
दिस इज द सर्किट ब्रेकर थ्री है एंड द फॉल्ट हैज अकॉर्ड एट लेफ्ट साइड ऑफ सर्किट ब्रेकर मीन्स एट दिस साइड सो इफ द फॉल्ट हैज अकॉर्ड एट दिस साइड इट मीन्स दिस विल बी कैंसल राइट नाउ सर सो विल नेग्लेक्ट दिस पार्ट सो दिस पार्ट विल बी नेग्लेक्ट राइट नाउ एंड द रिमेनिंग विल बी फ्रॉम हेयर टू हेयर एंड दिस द जस्ट वी ऑमिट दिस जी टू सो यर यू कैन सी वी हैव ऑमिटेड वैल्यू ऑफ जी टू सो राइट नाउ आवर सिंगल लाइन डायग्राम मीन्स रिएक्टेंस डायग्राम विल लुक लाइक दिस एंड हेयर यू कैन सी so here this is 0.343 plus 0.1 this will be in a, um, a series so these two will be in a, these two will be added and again this is 0.0252 so right now this value and the sum of this value will be means the sum of these two will be in parallel sir. and that will be in series with this value means 0.1 so you get here 0.124 so you get 0.124 and just we have to calculate the fault current at circuit breaker 3 so 1 upon j0.1 we will get 8.064 per unit and ib at 11 kV so this will be 524.86 amperes since at circuit breaker is, is at 11 kV side so uh, actual fault current will be means the sum of this if plus i base we will get here 4233 amperes now breaking current will be the same as actual actual uh, fault current and that is 422 ampere and in order to calculate the making current we have to multiply it by 2.55 means 2.55 into breaking current so you'll get the making current now suppose in the question the fault at a right side of circuit breaker that is at position 2 so if the fault has occurred at right side of circuit breaker so in that case So it means here the fault has occurred at the right side of circuit breaker means the fault has occurred at this point so right now in this case we will consider this part only and the remaining part will be neglected means g2 will be considered only here so right now we will consider only g2 means j0.343 So the fault current will be one upon zero point three four three four three. So you will get here minus two point nine one five per unit. So I base will be I base at eleven kilovolt. Again, the circuit breaker side is in eleven eleven kilovolt side. So ten into ten power six upon root three into eleven into ten power six will get here five twenty four point eight six. And IF actually will be 2.915 into 524.86, and that is 1530 ampere. And uh, the breaking current will be the actual value of fault current means IF actual, so 1530, and the making current will be 2.55 into 1530 ampere. Sir. So in this way, you can calculate such type of numerical. Sir. Hope you enjoy the lectures. Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channels. Thank you.